Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you an alternative to a pie chart. Um, you'll usually see a pie chart, something comparing the distribution of some items to the whole. Uh, so I am here looking at north, south, east, and west, uh, different regions, and then comparing those same four products and their distributions uh, within each of those regions. So that's something you could use for a pie chart. Um, problems with a pie chart is one, you need four of them <laughs> and you can see here that there's just a lot of duplication in the in the, um, in the legend you have all these headers everywhere and then again you, each of these charts looks at a different series so if there's any change to the series um, you'd have to go individually and change that particular one you just can't do it all in one shot and you have to manage four different uh, four different pie charts. So if you did any styling in one chart, you'd have to carry it over to the next four or next three, um, or any however many charts that you have. So it can then you know you may be going to macro territory, which you don't necessarily need to do. And that's why I'm going to show you this alternative. So a few things about the data set here. Um, this if it's called a series. So anything that you're plotting out here is called a series. And then anything that goes across here is going to be your x-axis. You, this is how you want to set up data for a pie chart. But if you were to do a line chart or anything like that, uh, anything you have up here is going to be your x-axis. So if you want to plot out um, the regions and show how the products are trending, you'd want your regions up here. So I'll show you that in a minute, though. So the alternative to a pie chart is a 100% stacked bar chart and that would just show you everything in one condensed chart um, with a little more flavor so I'll show you how to do that so you can go into insert columns 100% stacked column uh -huh. after you select that of course and there you go you have your regions and products but like I was saying I want the regions on the bottom so I can show the distribution of the products uh, within each region. So the products would be the series and the x-axis I want as the regions. So I'll just go back up to, uh, there's a chart design. When you click on the chart, you get a chart design tabs. Um, you can just click on design and then switch row and column. And that'll put the north, south, east, and west on the x-axis, which is what I want. And then the series as the products. So whatever I want as the products. To be here but you can see here that now I have the percentage breakdowns of the products for each region in one chart instead of four charts so this doesn't show me the total number of volume that I got but it does show me the percentage breakdown of uh, the particular product within that region which is what the pie chart is showing as well so here I can look and get the numbers see the percentages and then compare how big each proportion is to the bars you can see that the west has very little compared to everybody else whereas here you can see the same thing but you have to just go you know manage it in a different way you have to look further across however big your pie charts are and if you're shrinking them down then you know you get lost in pie charts here you just look at a bar and you can see pretty easily oh okay so chevy not so good in the west and ford not so good in the south and honda not so good in the east interesting you know it's it's very quick and you don't have to worry about managing let me just zoom out here you don't have to worry about managing all the uh, legends because now it's just one legend and you could also see the percentages but if you want to as well you can display the numbers you don't even click on the series you just go to layout and then data labels and then I usually do center and then that will give you both the percentages and the raw value numbers. So somebody, if they wanted to get the total volumes of a particular region, they could just add it up uh, so they could see exactly how many make up this small proportion because uh, each region is working off its own. So this could have been a hundred, right? But it overall could have been like a thousand or something. And it could have been a very, very small part of uh, th this, this, this set, even though it's a larger number compared to the rest. So that is an alternative to a pie chart. It gets rid of duplication uh, of the pies, of the legends, and you're able to manage your data a lot easier and present it 
to me in a, in a more clear format uh, compared to multiple charts um, that you do with a pie chart. Uh, in another video, I'll go over styling charts, getting rid of chart noise, uh, making it a little more appealing, and focusing in on uh, the key elements of what you want to highlight so that your audience and your reader can understand the chart a little better. Other than that, I hope it helps. If you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.